Yo, what's up guys? Blake Jameson here, 1023. Thank you guys so much. We're doing another pre-recorded video tonight. We just want to give you an update. We've been grinding the whole team the last couple days. I'm so proud of all the hard work, all the cards that we've shipped, all the cards that we're about to ship. So here's a quick update on shipping. What's up guys? So here are our packages, Jackie's and Don's. Almost the rest of them, the rest are in here. Tony has a couple of last orders that he's gonna personally fulfill. We have a huge box of gifts down here. There's quite a few different things coming out to people. A couple more gifts to fill. We're crushing it. Andy's crushing the county of stuff. More stuff Tony's gonna mail. So that's where we're at. And once, once all that stuff is out the door, which will be, I think, the ones in the hallway today, these ones tomorrow, that'll be all the Jackies and Dons. Then we're gonna move on to the Rickies. Let's go. Okay, so that is where we're at for the shipping. Very good news. Donnie's and Jackie's almost entirely out the door. Almost all of them are gonna get out the door today, minus a couple of the bigger orders that Tony's personally handling, which I believe he's shipping tomorrow morning. Then Tony's back tomorrow and we're starting on the Rickies. Matt and Tony actually have a bet going about the Rickies about whether we can get them all out the door by end of day on Thursday. I hope that Tony wins the bet because Tony thinks we can. Matt thinks that's gonna be a challenge. I guess we'll see. I told him not to sandbag, which I don't believe he will. So we're gonna be working on the Rickies. Now, as soon as the Rickies go out the door, that's when the Trouts are gonna launch and they're gonna launch here on a live stream. So we will keep you posted, but I'm hoping it's Thursday night we can launch the Trout Autos. Might be Friday. Just depends on if Tony or Matt wins that bet. Now for the rest of today's video, which I know is short, uh, last night I went down a wormhole watching my own 90 Days to MoMA project, which by the way, highly recommended. It's hilarious and, and cool and some smart stuff. I'm proud of myself for that one. This is a really special episode that I wanted to play for you guys tonight. It is talking with my dad about some photos that he took in 1969. I'll just let the episode do the talking. Enjoy, and don't forget to stay awesome. I was only at UCLA in 1969. I flunked out because I never went to class. I spent all my time in the photo lab. But I got called by the Seoul Publications, and then it wasn't too long after that that I guess their photographer was in an automobile accident or for some reason at the last minute he couldn't make this recording session that he was supposed to shoot with with James Brown. I was just jumping right in the middle of the orchestra and I don't know if I want to call it a booth but it had like a back wall and two side walls coming out for acoustics. I guess I was getting too close because at one point they stopped it and I got chewed out for them hearing my camera shutter in the microphone and they said there was no way that they could, that it was just, you know, going through the same mic as his. See, I was snapping away right by his microphone. Right. I had no idea how lucky I was to have that opportunity. It was like, it fell in my lap and went and did it, had a blast. Got to dance while I was taking pictures. Yeah. I was bopping around the studio. I was, I was having the time of my life. That's awesome. John Wooden, the Wizard of Westwood. In that one, I went into a huddle with the players directly across from the coach with my camera pointing at him. I was just always really into the shot and I felt like you had to go where you weren't supposed to, you know, to get the best pictures. But I had no idea how lucky I was at 18 to be, you know, photographing these things. Time has come and time has gone. of a life lived long when the wind plays I took a series of pictures. I went to the Hollywood Bowl and it was empty. And so I, I had a two and a quarter camera and a tripod. And I set it up and took a bunch of pictures of myself. 
Well, there once was a man lost in his mind In a world of truth strapped behind his eyes Till the sun burst forth through a cloud of lies He wept like a child in the night Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I hope that you guys enjoyed that episode. I love that episode so much. I'm gonna sprinkle in episodes into some of these live streams every once in a while, but if you just wanna watch the full 90 Days to MoMA series, it's a playlist in my YouTube. I will link it down below this video. It's gold, start to finish. Uh, it'll take you a while to get through the whole thing. They're all like mostly 10 or 15 minute episodes and there's 90 of them over the course of 90 days. It was a very fun adventure and it's led me to where I'm at now, so no complaints here. Anyways, I'm Blake Jamison. See you tomorrow night, I'll be back live. Stay awesome.